Hello guys, welcome back to AWM FX. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, no matter where you are. So, uh, I received a lot of uh, requests uh, regarding trend line. How do you use trend line? So, first of all, I seldom use trend line because uh, I felt that it's not really suitable for me. But however, I learn it and then uh, I'll just keep it. It's uh, extra knowledge for me. So like I explained it before, alright, I explained it before, uh, I have a lot of SWAT, alright, doesn't mean I need to use all my SWAT to kill a beast, okay, I need to use only the, the, the best SWAT for me, and every day I'm gonna sharpen the SWAT, and that is my best weapon, alright, so you have to remember this, okay, so this trend line uh, was taught to me by uh, one of my mentor, uh, Jake Nora or Teacher Nora. So I already asked her permission to share some of her knowledge. Actually, there is a lot, a lot of usage on uh, using trend line. But uh, it's just that some of the the knowledge I I cannot share is her, uh, uh, how should I say, is her own privacy thing. So I only share those uh, a general one general one so here we today we'll talk about uh five sub topic five sub topic on trend line all right so let's without wasting time let's start all right so first of all we'll talk about trend continuous trend continuous as we can see here actually we have a uh, two trend one is the bearish trend and one is the bullish trend all right so actually the easy way of drawing the trend line is you need to draw trend line if you're making a, a doing a sell trade you need to connect the top remember that you need to connect the top right and you're looking for the third rejection over here all right similarly for the bullish for the bullish you are drawing from the bottom and you're looking for the third rejection over here all right so you need to connect two line and after that uh, you're looking for a sell or a buy all right you remember that this is for trend continuous so what uh this thing happens uh, after usually what does it happens okay usually this trend continuous happens after a qm right usually it will happens after a qm means that usually there is a qm trade that is a qm trade so you have to be aware right means that after that is a qm that is a rejection going down the trend so you're looking for the third setup over here all right, so this is the first thing you need to put on your mind. Uh, similarly, for the bear, uh, bullish, I, I I think I don't need to draw it. All right. By the way, I have a, a new things. Uh, maybe some of you know it, but some of you do not know it. So for those who are using trading view, one of the things that you can do is that example. Uh, example, if I'm very familiar with uh, sell QML. I have no idea what should I do with a buy QML or how does a buy QML looks like. You can use one of the function in trading view. It's just they need to right click at the price uh, price scale over here and then invert scale. See, you have the invert scale of buy QML. All right, let's go back to our trend line. So here we have the sell and the buy okay hopefully you guys are clear about this all right so the next thing is trend reversal all right trend reversal so trend reversal is a bit different all right trend reversal is a bit different so for trend reversal you draw your trend line at the bottom for a sell all right you need to draw at the bottom of a cell 
and you're looking for the third rejection one two three third rejection and you're hoping for the price to go the opposite direction that is what we call it trend reversal right similarly for the uh, sell all right you are doing you're drawing the at the top right you are drawing your trend trend line at the top so you don't get confused on this right we only use one trend line don't use two trend line at this moment right because there is a lot of way of using a uh, two trend line okay so here you're looking for a sell all right all right so just now we talk about trend continuous it happens after a qml right so what is the criteria of trend reversal okay trend reversal trend reversal is actually very very easy trend reversal is that you can do a few uh i mean how should i say you can uh make a few back testing all right back testing so here i have a few examples it's easy i go to the chart and explain it all right so one of the example over here all right so if you look at this okay, let me just keep it short if you look at this this is a xau usd daily chart so here we have a very very strong supply zone all right we have a very very strong supply zone uh hopefully you guys agree with me this is a very strong supply zone so what happens is that when the price comes back to this area all right of course we are looking for a sell we are looking for a sell so you look for a trend line right you look for a trend line like this the price going one two three and then drop on the third one right so here i give you a good example so what happens is that we switch it to small time frame definitely you, your the when the price comes back the trend line you have to go to small time frame so let's go to if you look at it properly over here okay so this is what i meant by the trend line all right so now we know that the price reaching this zone this daily supply zone so first is that the price is forming the one two three we call it one three one two three three drive all right the other way is called three drive so here we have the all right so we have this trend line over here all right. we have this trend line over here so now we need to look back at the supply zone and at 1h where is my the other fresh supply zone all right so it definitely will be around this trend line this area this is another area all right so what happens is that when the price comes back to this area it will reject and it will drop all right this thing happens uh, a lot of time a lot a lot a lot it happens over here like i show you it happens over here all right so over here let's see over here if you switch it to this is a uh, if not mistaken it's a uh, daily or two daily. Okay. but it's not fresh so it may be switch it to weekly weekly yes this is a very very big weekly weekly and then h4 see that when the price reach this area it form a one two three trend line all right and the drop then of course we have the trend continuous uh, let me see if i can guide you through on the trend continuous okay over here we have the trend continuous so this is the trend continuous one two three drop 
if you look at it, it's, it looks exactly like the one that I've drawn. Alright, uh, drop this one, one, two, three, and then drop. Alright, so another guideline for you of using the trend line is that uh, a lot of people will ask, should I draw at the wick or at the body? Right, my answer will be it does not matter. Alright, it does not matter because trend line is not like uh, or should I say it's like the support and resistance. It's not like that. Right, trend line is just as a guideline, as a confirmation. Or should I say it uh, sometimes give you a bigger confirmation or bigger confidence on how you should trade. Right, so trend line is like that. Alright. So trend reversal, trend continuous. So we have a few examples. Over here we have a trend continuous again. Right? If you look at it properly, here we have the one, two, three. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. And then drop. Alright. So hopefully you guys understand. If you are gonna repeat this very fast. For trend reversal, trend reversal reversal if you are looking for a sell you draw your trend line at the top if you're looking for a buy you draw a trend line at the bottom reversal for trend continuous right trend continuous you draw your trend line at the top for a sell and below for a buy don't a lot of people will draw two two line and then say that it's a channel uh it's a bit a bit how should i say it's a bit dif different right so i'm going to give you a one trend line usage of one trend line okay give you guys some idea how it should be right so let's see my note all right okay the third the power of three the power of three remember okay remember we only trade at the third uh, rejection or we ask we or should i say reaction on the third reaction only right sometimes it may go a a bit more sometimes you can get example of uh, uh, the fourth or the fifth but very very seldom right usually we only look at the three the number three right the third rejection that's all other than that we just forget about it all right so next it will be combo with s and d all right so this is the fun part this is the fun part so most of you should know your supply and demand zone by now if you do not know you might check out one of my video i will explain how you find your supply and demand zone so the entry point okay if you look at it properly the entry point like this example one two three the entry point is that definitely the supply zone so when this place uh should i say uh it meets your supply zone your trend line meets your supply zone that is your best entry area of course you can go into lower time frame to see whether you have any other things there right you have any other things maybe it will form a qm right usually it will it might form a qm see it might form a qm before it drops so that is a supply zone for the next trend so sometimes you don't have QM, right? So you need to look at your supply and demand zone. So another example is just now that I, that I show you uh, right over here, this example over here. So if you look at it properly, we know that that is a supply zone. This is my supply zone, right? All right, I repeat again, this supply zone, you go into a smaller time frame. So what happens is that at this area, it's almost reaching you have your trend line ready to there right then you look to the left you see that is there any nice supply zone all right then that is one just very precisely over here hopefully you guys really do understand then the price goes into this area and then it drops nicely done all right so this will be a very very huge risk reward well nice so this is one of the way right so you need to uh, cooperate it or should i say you make uh, make good use of your supply and demand uh, knowledge on 
using the trend line. Alright, so a few things that I need to repeat again and again so that it will be in your mind. So the last but not least is trend line important. Alright, so after this, this is actually the conclusion. This is a simple conclusion. Trend line is actually not important. It's just a confirmation, right? It's a, just a confirmation that you need to know where the price is going, right? Sometimes uh, it might work very well. Sometimes it does not. What do I mean is that sometimes the price might... Sorry. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes the price might go beyond. All right? Example over here, this one. Uh, let's draw this trend line. So sometimes when we are aiming for the third rejection, it does not necessarily will touch this line and go. Okay, trend line is not important. It's just a confirmation. Sometimes the price might drop down a bit. Alright, it might drop down a bit. Why? Because that, like I told you, trend line, sometimes some people will use it on the body. Some people will use it on the shadow. So it depends. It does, it does not matter. All right, what we want is that we need to know where the price is actually uh, heading to. That's all. Okay, sometimes the price might go beyond it. All right, it might go beyond. So don't worry and don't be too, uh, how should I say, don't be too rigid on this thing. As long as the price does not go above the previous high or low, you're still in the structure. Okay, you're going in the bearish structure or going in the bullish structure. Understand? Right? So, this is how you use the trend line. And don't use the trend line as your entry. Alright? Don't use your trend line as your entry because this is this is the things that going to happen. Uh, use the knowledge that uh, you learn. QML, sometimes at this area, you might have a QML. Right, you might have a QML at this area. If you do not have, you might have a double maru, right? Or you might have a supply zone or demand zone in this case at this area, and you look for it. Okay, so it's as a confirmation for your trade. Okay, hopefully, uh, this video uh, serve its purpose and uh, give you guys some. Uh, general knowledge of how to use a trend line all right so i will show you a bit more the trend line usage in the, in the next video all right so see you guys then